Well, time to start the attempted resto on this uh, Bush electric motor. There's the specs on it there. And get it in focus. There we go. 1425 uh, or 1440 RPM motor, 0.25 horsepower, 240 volts, 50 hertz. Made by Bush Electric Co. Proprietary Limited. Made Melbourne, Australia. It's an AC motor, single phase. It's um very rust, yeah, very rough condition. It's rusted out pretty much. It is seized. Uh, I've already started by taking the pulley off, which was let's just say rusted on, it took a hell of a lot of work to get it off but it came off in the end which was good but that'll uh, that'll clean up alright, I've already started by grinding off some of the uh, the nastiest rust I've still got to do the groove and everything but that's all uh, doable but um, yeah it's pretty well seized up, I mean that looks like the main bearing in there on it and it's as you can see pretty much caked with rust in there so it um it may or may not work again. I may end up just drilling it out and putting some radial ball bearings in if I can't get the sleeve bearings to work. But from what I can tell, the uh, the main um, windings look all right on the motor. I've checked. I haven't owned them up yet or anything, but I've checked them. They look all right. But well, uh, at least make an attempt to get this cover off or get these end bells off and uh, to see what it's like inside. I'm really not looking forward to this to be honest. Okay, well I got the uh, rear end bell off and I think I may be able to save this motor. It's actually not as bad inside as I was thinking it would be. I mean there's a lot of oxidation and rust on the uh, that side of the housing, possibly from where it was um, the orientation it was sitting at when it's been outside. But it's uh, it's all surface stuff and I may be able to grind all that out and clean it. But the other good thing is that the back bearing is fine. I mean, there's a lot of dust and stuff on, probably from it being used. But it's uh, it's actually in really good nick. There's only a very mild amount of scoring on it. And so with the inside, uh, the bronze sleeve, which you can see down inside there. So I'll, um, this side, uh, on the outside, it's actually, it looks alright, it's, um, this must have been protected, but the front end's actually taken the most abuse. I'm gonna have to, uh, probably belt the shaft with a block of wood, and see if I can push it back in. Then hopefully I'll be able to separate the rotor and the stator all at once from the, uh, the end bell. But, it's, uh, it's not too bad, it's still seized. The uh, centrifugal switch still works, which is the important thing. But, um, yeah. There's your, uh, your little contacts there. So it, basically when it spins up, it pushes that in. In fact, hang on, yeah, it's pushed in when it's stopped. Then it winds up, it releases that. That cuts power off of the start winding and onto the run winding. This being a uh, four pole, because it's only a 1440. But, anyway, I'll, um, yeah, get all of that wiring separated and then probably belt that shaft and see if I can push the, uh, the rotor out, presuming it's not seized in. Okay, well, eventually managed to, uh, get the rotor out via a lot of hammering with a, uh, block of wood. And, um, I can basically come to the conclusion that it's had water in it quite a lot of it at some point in its life. As you can see by that tide mark on the front end bell, it's basically rusted everything that's been uh, been in it, including the uh, the rotor's cooling fan and the actual rotor itself. The stator has a lot of um a lot of wear on it. Even inside it as well. It's not too bad up the top there but it still needs a really good clean up. I mean, a lot of that rust residue's got to come off. And the back housing, which you can see a bit better, is uh, it's all right. But as you can see down the bottom there, where water's been present, it's it's taken its toll. Is what it's done. Oh, sorry if I can get that in focus. That's its terminal block. Your active and your common go in. That's marking off for the centrifugal switch. So is that other one there. 
and that uh, just nut and bolts straight onto those two little lugs there. There's the centrifugal switch, which is uh, that'll have to come out as well and be cleaned up, clean that uh, contact up. We'll have to get some contact cleaner as well just to uh, clean this whole thing up. But the good thing is that that's not damaged, nor is that end bearing. That's all all right. The only concern is that one's very, very shot. I mean, these are uh, these are porous bronze bearings they use, but it's still very, very worn out inside there. And so it's the uh, the shaft as well. You can see that should be shiny like that side. But as you can see, it's where water's gone. It's definitely done damage. But that will clean up though. That'll clean up all right. Presuming I can be able to get this thing apart. Hopefully, I'll be able to get that fan off. That's also going to need to clean up as well the centrifugal switch. You can see it still springs all right, but spring sort of collapsed there on that side as you can see it's that's gonna need replacing but that'll clean up though that's only uh that's all just surface rust from uh sitting inside the stator it's not actually eaten into the rotor or anything so it should uh it should clean up it'll take a while though but this thing will work again I can guarantee it I'll probably end up having to replace that end bearing as well maybe with a radial ball bearing or something because it's just so bad in there I knew this thing would be pretty bad but the front's the worst part of it that back one's all right that all just get a light brush over with some uh, penetrium and some other stuff and uh, yeah put it back clean it up put it back together and just see if it works or not but, uh, anyway I'll call this part one of this motor restore